the short time fourier transform is also known by the name windowed fourier transform the abbreviation for windowed fourier transform is wft whereas for short time fourier transform it is stft so as we see the name windowed fourier transform so there it is a window or in another name short time fourier transform the fourier transform is applied to a short time or to a limited time duration which can be spanned by a certain window you can say so if we make assumption of a certain function that can be denoted by a capital w which also belongs to a two dimensional functional space that can be denoted as l superscript 2 here so we can call in general this w to be a window function and that is having a localization in the time span that is centered at t is equal to 0 that you can see in the illustration also here so for such a representation of the window function we are having a spread or you can say it is the standard deviation which is square root of the variance here the statistical parameter here that also you can visualize in this graphical illustration here now what are the possibilities of having the window types where for a certain localized on time parameter we can have the application of fourier transform that we have seen in the previous video so let us have the first alternative where window is described by a characteristic function shown with a greek letter you see for the span from minus 1 to plus 1 here where the standard deviation or the spread is equal to 1 upon under root 3 here so the characteristic function we have seen and the values we have also denoted that is having the amplitude level 1 for the set as shown in the graphical representation here so this is one option here now let us move on to the another type of the window where the window w is described mathematically as 1 plus cosine 2t which is divided by 2 here so this is hold true for the time parameter t to be belonging to the range minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 whereas the spread or the standard deviation is again 1 upon square root 3 here so this type of the window function as it is having the cosine component here will not be having a constant amplitude one as it was the earlier case but here it is shown graphically like this here so it is inverted bell shaped kind of a graph here and this is the plot of the window function that we have w is equal to 1 plus cosine 2t divided by 2 here the next option is to have window defined as 1 upon square root 2 pi multiplied to e to the power minus t square divided by 2 which is also identified as a gaber window and when we set the standard deviation or the spread denoted by sigma is equal to 1 in the illustration you see the plot of the window function w that is equal to 1 upon square root 2 pi into e to the power minus t square divided by 2 here now for this localized span only which is centered at t is equal to 0 we have to make application of the fourier transformation here and that will be simply windowed fourier transformation or short time fourier transformation so along with the signal that is in general represented by f we have a role of window function w also so how do we express mathematically the windowed fourier transformation so let us express this by this equation where we have psi sub x w in the multiplication to f of a comma b so this is expressed on the right hand side 1 upon square root 2 pi multiplied to the integral minus infinity to infinity or the product of f of t with e to the power minus i v t into w of t minus a where w of t minus a will be having a vector kind of the variations and 
for integral representation we have at last dt here so in this mathematical expressions you see there are the two parameters small a and small b new to us so as we have the window function into the use and this window function for the localize on time parameter is providing us the information of time as well as the frequency components for the signal under consideration we treat small a to be a time parameter and small b to be a frequency parameter here now what is exactly psi sub x w multiplied to f of a comma b so here if we can call it to be the inner product of the functional representation f with the test function that we have here e to the power i b t into w of t minus a here so now in the figure you see a typical functional loop where we have a shifted and modulated window here so here we have the time resolution denoted by sigma we call it to be the standard deviation also and this will be mostly related to the width of the window under consideration so depending on the application at hand we can have the selection of the window and accordingly the value of the time resolution sigma here so it will mostly be constant after selection here and will also be independent parameter from the frequency component here so this was a brief introduction to the short time fourier transform so now from the next video we shall enter exactly into the mathematical background of the wavelet theory here the first topic thereupon we are addressing is continuous wavelet transform